Hello everyone, my name is Lalit Yadu. I am a student of Department of Civil Engineering and Faculty of Engineering and Technology, University of Lucknow. I am going to give a seminar presentation on noise control system in building. These are the content which I will explain one by one. Introduction of the topic Noise Noise is an unwanted sound. It can cause hearing loss, disturb communication, or cause nuisance. Noise control is a set of strategies to reduce noises pollution or to reduce impact whether outdoor or indoor. Sources of noise Source of noise is basically from air conditioner in a building heat pumps system water pumps and electrical generator and uh, aircrafts and road transports these are the some basic uh, source, sources of noise vibration of large parts and irregular fluid flow in pipe settings improper maintenance due to and due to transportation and roadway noises and aircraft noises how can we control the noise? Noise can be controlled by three main things that are firstly we can control the source from the noises coming and secondly either we block the path in which the noise is traveling and the last one is that we enclose the receiver that in this way the noise can be controlled or by recycling silent screen deckling in this the use of resilient screen deckling reduce the impact of the rock on a metal barrier concept it is the same concept uh, that i have explained earlier that in which the path the path can be restrained in this way the barrier is present between the source and the receiver and the noise can be controlled by barrier concept sound and noise sound is a form of energy that is transmitted by pressure vibrations or vibration that travel through air or other medium sound waves combine and reach a listener via direct and indirect pathway noise nuisance is a excessive noise or disturbance that may have negative effect on health the building regulations approved document e that it describes noise as a unwanted sound this is the pictorial view of source noise path and the receiver room acoustics room acoustics pertain to the physical characteristics of a space for a hearing of direct and reflected sound the persistence of the sound creates unwanted room with high level of reflected sound may have poor room acoustics depend on the use of room since background noises and interfere with the ability to understand speech the time required for the sound to be absorbed gradually and reduce below hearing levels this is a pictorial view of acoustic block walls in this the funnel shaped slot is uh, this and the fibrous filler is present between the uh, metal spectrum this is the pictorial view of uh, concert hall in which the acoustical design is very carefully done uh, the fabric wrapped panel provides good acoustical absorption. This is the pictorial view. And this is the pictorial view of normal glass, laminated glass and acoustic laminated glass through which in normal glass the noise is same as the output. In laminated, laminated glass the noise comes out to be small because the presence of the film and in acoustic laminated glass the noise is comes out to be very small due to the presence of acoustical film 
the floor construction the floor construction in a building provide very good noise control system the floor construction and assemblies perform two acoustical function like walls they provide acoustical between adjustments space airborne and insulation but they also reduce the sound of the footfalls and other impact sounds from floor and upper floor space planning the space is planned in such a way that it can be most of efficient noise control technique avoid locating mechanical equipment rooms and electrically transfer room near spaces either vertically or horizontally they require low background noise levels noise control for main building equipments large fans used as a part of the air conditioning systems in building are the source of significant amount of unwanted noise the quickest type of fan that will satisfy the operating requirement should be reflected selected whenever possible to reduce the noise for mitigation measures the cost of mitigation may exceed the cost saving for a less expensive conclusion is that as the architectural and engineering design of the project involved design should be reviewed in the light of the agreed upon acoustical program requirement for the bridging project a city or a building official cannot expect to comment on acoustical design in the contract document thank you